This is Thursday, the 20th of August, and we're about to sit down to a vegan dine-out meal at Innisfree Farms. Okay. When oh, there's Chef uh, Joseph Forrest there. Always looks like he's serving food already. Now this is the first seating. There's a second seating at 7 o'clock. This is 5.30. There's people paying some money to Bob. With his list. Okay. Oh, it's greens. The first serving is greens with the garlic dressing, I think. Uh, are these occupied? Yes, they are. Okay. I think there was somebody. Uh, yes, yes it's me. Yes, they are. There we go. Mm. <laughs> Jokes. Thank you for coming out this evening to Innisfree Farm. Welcome to Innisfree Farm. How many have been here before? Okay, so maybe a quarter, quarter, or a third of you. I, uh, my name is Joseph Forrest. I'm the chef in residence here, and I'm responsible for tonight's dinner. I am very happy to be serving you tonight, and tonight's menu is... Do you know how I can get there? Yeah, come on. <laughs> 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 more salads. Yeah. Do we need one more from inside? Okay. So I was just about I was just about to tell you what tonight's menu is. And it is um, uh, a kale and collard salad garnished with a nasturtium flour which is edible. It's very peppery. And it's also garnished with a lacto fermented a, a scarlet runner bean which I fermented a couple of weeks ago and and so it's just a little bit of a surprise bite for you. Uh, we're very much into lacto fermentation here. There's a couple of seats right here. Thanks. You're welcome. And uh, there's uh, yeah, take uh, one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, Yes. What we do here at Innisfree Farm is work a lot with the theme of food and medicine. So we like to lacto-ferment products such as the beans. I'm going to experiment with kale and collards this week. I uh, broke out a batch of sauerkraut this afternoon for lunch, which was, um, my, I think, my fourth or fifth attempt at, at making it. And <laughs> I'm also making kombucha. And uh, there's just lots of things that, that, that lend itself to lacto-fermentation, which provides probiotics to the gut, helps build up good flora. So is that like when they tell you to take um, yogurt? It would be the same Yeah, but you're salt? basically looking for the same, the same effect with the lacto-fermented foods as you mm. would for, for mm. yogurt. So if you're vegan, which I'm assuming most of you are, maybe not, but uh, lacto fermentation is a really good uh, food to introduce to your diet. So for the entree, I've got a Thai green curry red lentil dish with um, a cardamom, a cardamom lime basmati rice, and uh, ginger sautéed ginger and garlic uh, carrots uh, garnished with basil. And for dessert, I've got a uh, chocolate orange chili cake. And uh, the chili is cayenne, so you'll find that it, it's actually not too spicy. It's actually quite warm, but it's not overbearing. It's not overpowering. And uh, I find it very cordial, so I uh, invite you to try it. And, and uh, if 
you don't like it, well, <laughs> I'm sure one of your neighbors will finish it off. <laughs> so I wanted to I want to point out that uh, that I I've written a cookbook that uh, came out in 1996 uh, called Cooking Vegetarian. It was uh, written by my co-author um, Vicento Molina. Some of you may know who she is from some of her books. She wrote a book called Becoming Vegetarian, of which this is the companion volume to. She wrote a book called Becoming Vegan, which we, I also have a companion volume to it that is available in the United States, but not in Canada. Uh, and she also wrote a book called Becoming Raw. The book, the book had a very good run in Canada. It was, a, it was actually an instant bestseller. And it, but as, as product cycles go, it, it had a high peak and then it went dormant and it went out of print. It was revised a couple of years ago. It came out in October of 2011. But unfortunately, it's no longer available under this publisher, John Wiley. Hmm. They sold the contract, but not the inventory, to HarperCollins. They're going to rebrand the cover because they don't want to be selling someone else's logo. And the book will be available for sale in December. So I'm going to be putting out a sign-up sheet here if anyone's interested in, in hearing about, about it. And also, when it comes out, please sign. Uh, there's, <clears throat> there's also um, a lot of things. A lot of things that we do here besides dinners. Uh, Chanchel Cabrera, who's one of the owners who lives here, she and I uh, have produced a, uh, a food as medicine series that have been popular here. There's there's some information uh, pamphlets here for you to look at. The food is the next one on the list is a cancer fighting kitchen on September 20th, which is a Friday night and all day Saturday, the 21st. We have a Garlic Lovers Feast on October, which is only a three-hour evening class. And then at the end of October, Eat Well, Age Well. Uh, on, the, on the reverse of these pamphlets, you'll see some of Chanchel's uh, uh, sorry, um, workshops, an introduction to aromatherapy, Christmas gifts. She's got, her, she's got a herbalist certificate program. She does herb walks on a continual basis, basis. We also do movie night here every second Thursday, a dinner and movie, dinner similar to this. It's not always vegan. It's not always vegetarian. We do serve fish on the property. So you can always, if you are vegan and you want to attend one of those evenings, you can call ahead to see whether or not a vegan di dinner is being served. And... Uh, we, ch we typically choose a movie that is food-based, uh, either, like, re recently we just did, uh, last, last week we did uh, Sideways, which was a fun movie. Oftentimes we'll do a movie that has um, political imp implications. Uh, <clears throat> uh, perhaps we might look at, at the GMO issue or food security on the island or in the world and, as, a, as a rule. So basically what we do, the theme here is... Uh, food plants and medicinal plants, and we try and incorporate those themes into all of what we offer to the public. So, with that, I'm going to let you dig into your into your dinner. And uh, TAD has offered to bring everybody out for a, a 15 minute walk after dessert, just out into the field to just get to uh, well, first of all, to clear the table for the next sitting, but also to give you an idea of what we do here from the field's perspective, rather than just the table. How long have you been here, the Innisfree Farm? I've been, this is my second Innisfree. season with Innisfree Farm. I started last year, and uh, this is my second year. I'm going away to Asia, Southeast Asia, this winter, where I'll be focusing on on that, the food culture in Southeast Asia, particularly, particularly as it pertains to food and medicine. And then I'll be back here next year for my third season. And the farm's been here how long? Uh, seven years. What did you say? It's rhubarb what? Rhubarb chutney, thank you. Rhubarb chutney, Vancouver. Yeah, I would come to the island usually once a year. Per table here. And you're going to you're going to serve yourselves or serve each other 
Okay. And uh, so one, th this this group here, that, that's your food there, and then the the next table here, etc. So that's how it's going to work tonight. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. But we've been trying. I guess. People pass, I guess. Did you know they have so many jobs? I mean, Victoria Cameron is on the state side. True. What was that? Further up. Yeah. I should be up in Reverend Cameron River last weekend, and they've done a lot to their work. Yeah. So we've got some of Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, it's a doll. Doll? Is it a doll? Okay, so how, how many are we dishing out for? Like six or eight? So you're sitting right on the border of the table. You can eat from both sides of the whole table. You are sitting in the right place. Well, that's what they call eating in Australia. There's a Muslim in Lake there called Shade Lake with white wings. Oh, yeah? And then there's this place called Madison's Landing, and the tide goes out, and there's just shellfish everywhere. And then when the tide comes in, you can put on your circle and flip it, and it pulls you. Like, can you help yourself? It's really fun. So, can you, so it kind of it empties the water. Raisins and things in it. Is it still there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. That makes so much sense. I know I'm generally pretty appalled when I look at the shopping carts. Oh, the hot water. 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 But then they all have And then, so once you have the one, you can't look at oil now. And then it's one in a third cup. And there were so many. We used to have a. And then one cup of the We used to have a dean's list. For six months. Um, and uh, it was a top 10%. And then The cake, apparently, this little thing is uh, anise. <laughs> so, wonderful, wonderful dinner. And uh, they're clearing away now for the uh, second feeding at 7. It's already, oh, it's almost 7. Oh my goodness, we've got to get out of here. Fabulous meal. There's some people walking down there. Maybe I should go and take a little walk down there. Uh, the garden, the uh, labyrinth. Some people just sitting there relaxing. Oh, look at this beautiful fire going. Oh, isn't that a great, isn't that a great barbecue pit? Jimmy, this way, bud. Stay with me. You're a good boy. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you.